My name's Reagan. This is the GWP Homestead. Hey. If for some reason I'm ever unaware that I've died and gone to heaven, I'll be able to tell because I'll be sitting down drinking a glass of tea or something on a Sunday afternoon. Instead of getting out and doing something crazy, like finding hay and loading it into the bed of my pickup truck and onto the back of my trailer that desperately needs new decking. But that's how we do it around here. We just uh, you know, do our best and make do with what we got. It's just at the beginning of April now and grass is greening up. We're not gonna be going through nearly as much hay as we were you know, even a few weeks ago. But with having our two beef steers in the barn that we're finishing them out, we need to keep them uh, loaded up with hay to keep the rumens active. They can't just eat 100% feed or else it's gonna not be a pretty sight in there. So we needed hay and it's getting hard to find. Everybody's starting to run out. Everybody's using up what they have. And because got a good deal on these uh, hay bales, couldn't pass it up. The kids are gone this weekend, and so what better way for husband and wife to spend time together than loading up hay and feeding their animals, right, dear? Something like that. Yeah, well. We do have one kid. Deacon's still with us yeah. because mama doesn't let him go very well, far. He's five months old, but yeah, the two oldest ones are, are off with their grandparents this weekend, and so we're taking advantage of that and trying to get some stuff done. If you watched us unload that bulk feed that we moved uh, in here for our cattle, you know we don't have a tractor, we don't have a good way to unload this, so we're cleaning up a spot in the carport and we're gonna back this trailer in here and uh, get this done the redneck way. It's gonna be great. I just, I was so happy. I was grinning on the way home, just like I cannot believe some of the stuff we get into around here, but it is life. Unloading that bulk feed made, made him a little confident about our abilities to unload large quantities of feed. Yeah, it'll be fun. Getting off the bed of the truck's gonna be the fun part. Uh, but you know what? There's one, uh, well, there's a few constants in life. Gravity's one of them. At least on this planet. Oh yeah, I don't know if we need to take the pin out of this thing. It'll be fine. I'm ready. So are we gonna use the shot? No, I'm ready to just go. Okay. You think it's fine? I, I trust you. Let yeah. the record reflect. I trust my wife. He shouldn't trust me because I don't know. I'm just going off gut. Uh, is the back of the trailer on the ground? It is on, on the pallet. On the pallet. It, it, it's not gonna come up anymore and no, it emasculate me or something. It shouldn't. did so good, Megan. I trusted you, and I get the credit for it. In all seriousness, that went almost way too well, but uh, I, I take my victories where I can get them. All right, now time to do the tricky one, which is that one there. And here's how I think we're going to do this. Um, I reserve the right to change my mind if this doesn't work out. Um, this hay bale, I would love to just, you know, use it, but it, it moves too much. So I think what I'm going to do is run a chain underneath it on this pallet and hook it to something on that pallet so that the you know the force the weight of that hay bale bearing down is going to keep the pallet stable um and then run that and then run a strap back around this bale and either use a come along or just the the weight of all that to maybe pull this back i might start with the come along and then finish by just driving out from underneath it i mean <laughs> you do what you got to do and uh you know I, I could probably ask my neighbor if I could borrow his hay fork, his hay spear real quick, bale, bale spear. But he's all the way over there. and I mean, what's the fun in that, right? Let's see what we can do.
the come along isn't going to work i just don't have enough distance between there and there so uh straps around the back of it i have no idea where i'm pointing at here in real life um got a got a clevis shackle there chain is anchored underneath that boy give her the old yank see what happens Well, I could have done better and I could have done worse. I really didn't land on the pallet. Where I did, I'm pretty sure I crushed it. This whole assembly here has scooted forward quite a bit of space, although I don't care. I could feel as I was driving, I was pulling it, but I could also see this one was coming up. So I was just like, forget it, we're just gonna go. And it's out of the truck. So, you know what? I give myself an A minus. Now the really fun part is gonna be getting all my stuff out from underneath this but it's out of the truck so a minus the next thing i want to get fixed is i have pencils and marking instruments hanging out of every ear <laughs> yeah, that's the way i roll um we hung this gate up i think two weeks ago maybe and i was just off center over here with my latch or not just off center but like i was just out of line enough that we couldn't use our new latch and uh we were going to put like a chain up and it was driving me crazy i couldn't stand it so let me show you how we're fixing these holes and then putting new ones in so the first time the first time we did this i drilled a hole right in the center of our barn and um it was again just a hair too far that way i didn't measure it close enough so i drilled it out and then plugged it with a three quarter inch dowel um so i didn't just have holes all over the place if i'd have drilled a new hole right here without plugging that i would have had a really bad weak spot in one of the columns of my barn so plugged it drill a new hole uh far enough off uh that's like an inch and a sixteenth or so i mean whatever it's somewhere between an inch and an inch and an eighth doesn't matter um this is a good shot right here what that looks like as well as my sharpie marks so we will get this gate right here fixed up and level and then we'll be able to put our new latch in and keep our big knucklehead goat out of my cattle feed because he doesn't need to eat it and uh it's expensive so bad for his health in more than one way I want, I want you to tell me and the world at the same time what in the world you are grinning and smirking about here i found a new bean breeder in greenville kentucky greenville greenville well that's mighty close it is we may be heading that way this weekend even <laughs> This is my life, y'all. Deacon wants it. Deacon picked it out. Does he? Deacon picked it out. Is he gonna ride it? Yeah, probably. I love her. Help me. Send help. The gate is up, the latch is fixed, and the food is secured. So no more Clyde getting in there, and that'll keep him healthy. It'll keep our uh, investment with the feed. Got to keep the chickens out of it, I guess. But at least the goat's not going to be in it, and we're not going to have to clean up after that kind of mess. So did good there. That's all I really feel like doing today, and I feel like that's enough with the hay and the gate latch and all that now taken care of. I'm happy with it. Megan's going to be coming to y'all later in the week talking about our doe, Annie Oakley. Uh, Annie has been struggling to get bred. We know it's not Benji's fault because all the other girls that have been in with him are taken care of. So um, she made a trip to the vet to get her worked out, and they got a few things that she's going to be talking to you about. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we have plenty of stuff going on around here. There's never a dull moment. So for Megan and Deacon, 
I'm Reagan. This is the GWP Homestead. See y'all soon.